Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries and our Trippy. coverage of the 2014 E3. My name's RJ. I'm joined by FPS Kyle. How's everybody doing? Justin. What's up, what's up? And over there in California, actually attended the E3 event today dressed up as Super Mario himself in honor of of this brand new Super Smash Bros. game we got coming out is Corey. Corey, what's up, man? You must be tired. It's a me, C Dub. <laughs> what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm enjoying the left coast and uh, all the E3 coverage for Trippy Commentaries. Of course, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and go back and check out our coverage of the, uh, the multi console titles as well as the Xbox and Sony exclusives. But, uh, you know, here today, I'm really looking forward to getting into what Nintendo has to offer, guys. Yeah, right now, it, it would come between two games for Game of the Show for me. Batman Arkham Knight, which we talked about in our Xbox preview here, or Xbox recap. Yep. And some games that came out, or at least that they announced, here at E3 for the Wii U. The first one we will talk about is the granddaddy of them all, because... We've seen Zelda steal the show before, and once again, they might have done it here. Yeah. They showed an actual trailer that showed off the gameplay engine. Yeah. They didn't show the gameplay angle, but they did confirm it is the actual engine, which I kind of assumed the way they kind of did the camera work with that, they kind of were alluding that it was the gameplay engine, of course, the way yeah. uh, he was talking about it as well. Uh, but this new Zelda, huge announcement, open world Zelda. Oh, They're going epic. back to the origins that Thank we you. saw is this back dream? in Zelda 1. And are it? This is exactly, it's basically like they answered us fans. This is exactly what we wanted, Justin. Yeah, RJ, I, a number of times you've uh, you know complained about how terrible Skyward Sword was and <laughs> how they really need to make it up to the fans. And we're, we've been huge Zelda fans all around here since, you know, since we were in the cradle probably. So seeing the open world aspect, even though it's kind of a little bit behind the times now, I mean, tons of other games for other consoles have gone that route, Skyrim and everything, but having it in the Zelda universe, and, and hopefully the, the story gets a little darker. Uh, Twilight Princess was one of my favorite Zeldas, and having that kind of darker angle really drew me to the game. Maybe it's just me, but uh, as opposed to the, the Skyward Sword ang angle, and plus the motion's gone, so... Mm -hmm. That will make you happy, RJ. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Every single enemy in Skyward Sword was like a motion puzzle you had to solve. It was terrible. Oh, no. But even going back to, uh, you know, let, let's say Twilight Princess, which is an excellent game. Yeah. We cannot say anything else other than it was a very straightforward, linear game. That's a that's for sure. I mean, they turn you, you into yeah. the wolf. Until you, you have unlock to grab things, the bugs. you can't explore the, the rest of the map, sure. But yeah. uh, that's kind of how traditional Zeldas were. Some areas were off limits until you got yeah. that glove to lift the rock or you got the mm -hmm. raft to go across the water. Yeah. So it looks like what they're going to do is, is return to the origins where they kind of start you smack dab in the middle of the map and say, good luck. Uh, we'll, we'll see what you can do. Nice. Uh, Corey, what'd you think about the, the trailer for this new Zelda? Oh man, it was uh, absolutely breathtaking. Uh, you know, I'm a huge fan of the Zelda franchise. Um, you know, something that they mentioned in the trailer that we saw and in the footage <clears throat> was the fact that in uh, some of the previous Zelda games, uh, namely Wind Waker for GameCube, um, they didn't really have the technology to make one fluid, giant open world to, for us to explore. So, you know, in that game, they actually used the mechanic of different islands that were self-contained. Yeah. Uh, you know, as I said, they had an entrance and an exit, and that, you know, created the the illusion or the depth of an open world. But, you know, this time, uh, you know, we saw basically uh, just a still shot of, uh, of Link on his horse uh, out in a meadow. Mm -hmm. And uh, off in the distance, we saw some mountains. And, uh, you know, the, the person who was uh, talking about the video, the Nintendo representative, uh, he said, you know, if you keep walking, you can actually go to those mountains. So, you know, Epic. I really, wow. uh, really looking forward to to all the updated graphics. It was breathtaking. Um, you know, it's going to be a vast world to explore. And I'm definitely looking forward to, as we said, the return to a more classic gameplay, uh, much like Link to the Past and uh, the original Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I mean, the, the graphics is what what I noticed watching the trailer of it. 
um, you know, the for Wii U, this looks really good. I mean, this is this is competing with the next new generation uh, consoles here. It's kind of the first time I've seen it from Wii U. Um, I mean, you know, the grass looked ridiculous. It was it was free flowing. Um, the the scenery looked amazing, and uh, you know, you see you know see Link on top of his horse and it's running around. It looks crazy. The first like boss, you know, bad guy that it that it faces. Um, it's really crazy. It's huge. It's got like these arms that are coming off of it. And uh, it looks, you know, it looks really epic. And then the fact that you can just move around everywhere, like everyone's touched on, this is what we wanted, you know, being Zelda fans. And um, they finally gave it to us. And looks, the map looks huge, which is another good thing. There's gonna be a lot of cool stuff to do in it, and uh, probably some pretty crazy bosses. Mm -hmm. No doubt, Halo, or I'm sorry, uh, Zelda has always had the best kind of enemy designs. I always love the enemy designs, with the exceptions of some of the things that we saw in Skyward Sword. But uh, they just always had great character designs. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I really want to point out how much I liked Link's design in this. Yeah. That's a huge factor in the game to me. Uh, Twilight Princess, I wasn't completely on board the uh, the Link design. I, figured, I, you know, I felt that it was better in Ocarina. How can you kind of downgrade his posture and his design? And uh, pff, Skyward Sword goes without being said. Now it seems like they're going back to a much better postured Link, yep. a much better design, looking a lot more like the one we saw back in Ocarina of Time, mm -hmm. where I felt he just looked the best, he looked the most powerful back in that game. Uh, Super Smash Brothers, another game we're really looking forward to at the channel, that will be coming out soon. That's one of these games that we're getting these big announcements from here at E3, and we actually get to see it, see the light of day very, very soon. Uh, so we saw some new characters announced. They announced that you can use your Mii. Wasn't too thrilled about this announcement, but at really? the same time, we kind of expected it. We of saw course. it in Mario Kart. Of course. The one thing that I will say I'm happy about is that you can choose between three different forms of your your Mii. You can be a sword wielder. You can be a brawler who's just hand hand to hand combat and kicking. And you can also uh, be one that has a blaster, kind of like Mega Man. So at least they give you options, and it looks like they put a lot of detail into the Mii, which was totally not what I was expecting. I was expecting it just to basically throw a random Mii in there with some normal animations that we've seen in past Super Smash Brothers. But it doesn't look like they're doing that, so that's a good thing. Uh, one thing, a slight gripe I have with the Mii is they, they don't have good beards, and I have a beard, so that's one thing I don't like about that. <laughs> um, other characters they announced, um, I'll try to, uh, to, announce, or to, to pronounce this right, it's... Pelotena from the uh, Kid Icarus series there. So uh, Pitt will be getting another character from his series in the game. And they also just announced, Kyle, I know one of your favorites, Pac-Man yeah. will be making an appearance. It's <laughs> pretty epic using Pac-Man. Uh, we'll see what <laughs> abilities he has other than just chomping everything. Um, yeah, I like how they're kind of doing it. They're kind of slowly releasing who you know all the characters that are going to be in it. There's you know rumors that are going around of other characters that might possibly be in it. Um, so it's smart on their part. It's kind of keeping people kind of glued to their seat a little bit to see, you know, which guy is going to come out, uh, which which new character they're going to release for the game. Um, but yeah, this is a game we've been talking about. You know, this is when we got the Wii U. We're like, dude, they're going to come, you know, they're going to come out with the Super Smash Brothers. And we're going to be able to play it. And um, so it's, it's something that we're looking forward to. Oh, hell yeah. And uh, I will say I'm very impressed with the new Kid Icarus character. Uh, she looks really cool. She's an angel. Looks to be probably one of the better fighters in the game. Corey, what do you think about uh, this new Pac-Man character? That's going to be an odd one. As well as uh, me. Are you excited about using your me in this one? Yeah, most definitely. I'm looking forward to uh, dishing out some Pac-Man fever to my opponents in this new Super Smash mm -hmm. Brothers. Uh, as well as using the me. Uh, I like the, uh, the inclusion of the Angel Queen from Kid Icarus. Uh, that was always one of my favorites. And, of course, uh, the guy that I'm probably going to be using most in this game uh, whenever I do finally play it. Who could that be? The Blue Bomber himself, yes. Mega Man. Yeah. Oh, epic addition to the game, that's for sure. In fact, we saw in the last huge announcement when they, of course, announced Mega Man that you could even use multiple weapons. Corey, I know you probably know every single weapon to ever appear in the classic series there. you got to be excited about the prospects of using the metal blade and pretty much any other weapon you want to see from the original series. Oh, definitely, man. That's going to add a cool dynamic. Uh, you know, one question I had, it seems like I also saw a boxing ring stage. Can I take that to mean that possibly... 
we may see Little Mac from Punch Out. Yes, he has already been announced. He yeah. is an announced fighter in the game, and we will be bringing our Super Smash Bros. preview very soon. We'll go through all the new fighters. Of course, uh, you know we expect to see Sonic the Hedgehog in it. There's been uh, some signs that possibly um, Solid Snake will not appear in this one. That you know, that's something we'll see. That's definitely up for debate. Mm -hmm. And uh, Corey announced the big one, Mega Man. That's going to be truly epic. Jeez, um, it's at least one way we'll get to play it as Mega Man. And yeah. I, I got to say that design they have for Mega Man is, in, in my opinion, the best we've ever seen him. And it just makes me want Capcom to release a brand new Mega Man game with that same exact design. It looks great. A uh, couple other games that Nintendo announced here that we're just going to kind of brush over. Uh, Yoshi's Woolly World. <laughs> I was a huge fan of the Yoshi's Island series, and this one oh, looks yeah. to the, you know, definitely looks to be the exact style of gameplay, but I don't know about you guys. I thought it was just too distracting, those graphics. It's pretty crazy graphics, man. Yeah. It's pretty creative. Um, yeah, it, you know, it's it's a good game to, you know, play around with, but, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to pay money for it. Yeah, I mean, I bet you it's a good game, and, and as something we talked about off-screen, Kyle, definitely a good one for the kids to play, yeah. rather than, you know, these exactly. shoot 'em ups instead of, like, Call of Duty. That's yeah, let us play yeah. that, and they play some exactly. Yoshis. <laughs> uh, uh, Yoshi Island there, and uh, also they announced a Captain Toad game. This is stupid in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> these levels were not that fun at all. I mean, they were okay. There was only a handful of levels uh, from the, uh, the the Super Mario 3D World. It's funny, because the very last Captain Toad level is completely aggravating. It's hilarious. Uh, it's in the Star World, so you can imagine how hard it is. In fact, it's in World Crown, the very last world of the game. It's funny how they're trying to cash in on that idea. I see that being a failure. I could be wrong about that, but I don't see many people rushing to the store for that one. <laughs> um, also, a game that I don't know what to think of is this new Sonic Boom. I'm a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan from the 2D series to the 3D series. Mm -hmm. Coming to this announcement, I was really excited that they could possibly be going back to the Sonic Adventure style that we saw from the Dreamcast. And uh, unfortunately, it looks to be going more towards a Sonic Heroes direction. You can use the main trio, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, and you kind of have to use all three of them. I'm not too excited about the direction of that game. Um, all right, I got to stop you. You're missing one. I mean, it's just an announcement. But sure. Announcing Star Fox for the Wii U. Huge announcement. Uh, you know, that's one of my yeah. favorite games of all time, one of my favorite series. Mm -hmm. And talking about lack of flying games, well, there's our flying game, I think. Yeah, I know it's a little bit of a gimmick game that uh, Shigeru Miyamoto is working on himself. It's just so nice to hear that Star Fox is seeing the light of day and that Nintendo has not forgot about the series. Right, and it's it, maybe it's taken uh, Nintendo a little bit of time to start getting these new titles for the Wii U going, but you know what's going to be next? A new Metroid? You know, <laughs> what other uh, franchises Hope can so. they revive and hopefully uh, revive sales of the Wii U? Yeah, um, speaking of reviving a series... Uh, we've seen a bunch of these games, but Mario Party 10 for yeah. the Wii U, I gotta say, I've been out of that series since, geez, Mario Party 3, um, but <laughs> which was for the Nintendo 64, but uh, I'm kind of uh, excited about this Mario Party 10. I think it'll be all-out chaos, and I definitely look to take you on in Mario Party 10 and hopefully destroy you, Corey. <laughs> yeah, man, that's going to be a fun game. Uh, you know, it's a good game to get together with a couple of your buddies, Maybe Have drink a little bit. And, uh, do a lot of smack talking. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a couple other games that we can touch on. Uh, there was also the announcement of a uh, uh, like a Zelda spinoff called Hyrule Warriors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's gonna be like a hack and slash fighter type game. Uh, I didn't really see a whole lot about that, uh, but you know, another major title that has almost got me ready to just go shell out my bucks and go buy a Wii U is the announcement of the Mario Maker. Mm. Uh, it's going to be a utility, uh, a game for the Wii U, of course, with the, uh, with the touch screen controls, where you'll be able to craft your own levels, uh, design your own levels piece by piece, brick by brick, pipe by pipe, Koopa by Koopa. And <laughs> uh, you'll be able to switch between the classic Super Mario Brothers, the original 8-bit uh, look, Wow. As well as the uh, the new updated uh, new Super Mario Brothers uh, look, uh, this is definitely going to be a huge game for me. I think uh, 
probably the biggest feature is going to be people creating levels and sharing them online with friends. Yep. Uh, hope they do add a multiplayer dynamic to it somehow. Uh, like I said, man, I mean, as a, as a classic retro gaming fan, uh, like I know all of us are, uh, yeah. this you know, uh, announcement of being able to make your own Mario is uh, huge. Yeah, we're definitely looking forward to it. We'll be designing our own courses and our own levels as soon as they release it. It's going to be hella fun. Thank yep. you guys for joining us for the Nintendo E3 report here at Trippy Commentaries. Make sure to check out all of our videos here for our E3 coverage. And we'll see you guys for more videos covering this year's E3, including a recap and more trailer reactions. We'll see you guys there. Stay trippy. Stay trippy.